Hey, Derp Nation, how's it going? We are back with this Venture Camp All Stars season, well, season three, obviously, it's season three, episode seven, Ball Busters. Now, this that's a weird title, but um, we are finally now in the seventh episode of All Stars. Now, I do have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that I was spoiled on the elimination, so we're not going to do the whole, like, character thing where I go over to the side and make my predictions. Not happening. We will still do that part, though, at the end of the video where I talk about it, I show the characters, and I remove who gets eliminated. The spoiler, though, only came from an audio, and it wasn't a... Uh, what you what you would call it? It wasn't a video, so I didn't see like everyone's reaction. So I can still comment on all that, whatever the case may be. And I wasn't spoiled on anything big or major except for the elimination. So that means the rest of the episode, I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know how it's gonna play out. That's the good part. The good news is because all these leaks keep happening on TikTok, it's the only place that I really see them. I got rid of the app until like basically the season is going to be over because I make content on this, right? I don't want to be on TikTok where I could potentially see um, spoilers, right? Like I could be scrolling at any time and I see spoilers. So if you guys are seeing people that are leaking stuff, please do report them. I'm not going to do it anymore though because both times that I have, that's what led me to being spoiled. I can't risk it anymore, right? And it sucks because... Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but I will say I wish I wasn't spoiled because my reaction would have been huge for sure. But now I'm going to see it coming. Like, it is what it is, though. Either way, we are going to get into it in like three hours. They actually changed it. It's no, It doesn't premiere at like two or three o'clock anymore. It premieres at five and six o'clock for me, which, you know, would have been great if I was still working at Nickelodeon. And I, I come out like at around like 3 30, 4 o'clock, and then I come back so I can react in time. But I don't longer I don't work for them anymore. So it is what it is. But we're gonna get into this once it starts. So I'll see you guys when we get back here. I have been waiting for this moment all day. So we're gonna jump right into it. You know, when the countdown is over. So I'll see you guys when the countdown is over. Let's begin. We're getting into the episode, baby! I'm so excited. Previously, on this so we got the recap. Ashley you guys already know that I'm going to be pausing this if I have anything to say. Surprise. Like I said earlier, though, I wasn't going to really make Allie predictions on the episode, sure but I will, you know, say him. a few things that I think Sorry, as the episode progresses. Team, Joel apologizes to Grant for his nasty comments about her, but instead of telling Grant, he seemed to be telling the camera. In the oh, yeah. The campers all participated in a musical number for the ages. Uh but, by the way, by the way, I listen, not only do I listen to the Disventure Camp songs on repeat ever since the episode came out, but I found the original songs. I found No Matter How Hard We Try first, and then I found Born to Drive Me Crazy, and then Piggyback. I didn't even think Piggyback was a real song, um, but I, I, I actually love it. Like, I wasn't too crazy about Born to Drive Me Crazy and Piggyback. Like, the, the actual versions of the songs. But then, I kept listening to them and I fucking loved them. And then, no matter how hard we try, I, I got into it pretty, like, quickly. Because um, I actually enjoyed uh, just a little snippet from the teaser. And everyone said that they didn't really like No Matter How Hard We Try when Yellow Team performed it. I guess it was underwhelming in a sense. I could see where y'all were coming from. But I, I actually liked it. So, when I found out it was an actual song, I went and looked it up. I just... Boom, in my headphones on repeat. Yeah. Anyway, let's just jump in. I guess. Um, it's still not on Spotify, but we're working on it. Tom and oh, she broke the fourth wall and said it's on Spotify. Some delicious reactions from one watermelon boy. Oh yeah, we know it can't be on Spotify because they have to get permission. Less mistakes cause the yellow team to lose. Sending Connor home. Not only that. But he has to clean the mess their team made on Boo! Beautiful Why bring stage? him back to boot him pre merge again? If Thirteen are left. Who will be voted out tonight? He better come back. I feel like out of everyone that left, he has the most skill to prove. So I know we're supposed to get hold on. Sorry guys. 
I know. Pausing at the theme song. Taboo. I know that he's supposed to be, like... I know there's supposed to be an episode where they where uh, someone's going to come back. So, I think... I really do think it's going to be Connor. At first, I thought, oh, James is going to return. Because he never got to do the uh, Patreon shoutouts at the end. But, um, I think that would be too obvious. Also... James coming back and then getting booted like almost immediately just doesn't make sense, right? Yep, Ali and Hunter are fighting. Fiore's just like, shut the fuck up. I was fighting with Fiore. And... All right, here we go. Yep, we're back to it. Oh, Aiden in the pool. In the pool, wow. In the fucking lake. In the lake! That sounds bad. I know we're supposed to see something with, like, Tom and Jake uh, talking today, so hopefully that leads to something, okay? Whatever it is, it gets us closer to, like, finishing their story arc. Ugh, Got it! Man, we really trashed this place, huh? How was Rhea not floated out? Isn't she the one who caused all of this? How'd you know about that? <laughs> I watch cameras all day, Connor. Except for when you're using the potty, of course. <laughs> Wait, so you can see everything? Yep. I'm sorry to see you go, by the way. You were one of my favorites. Rhea was a real jerk. It's all right. <sighs> Trevor <Yes>. loves Connor! <laughs> a dog like me can still learn a thing or two about love. Sometimes you just gotta move on. Right. Maybe. Yeah. I should just move on. Huh? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <gasps> I'm just being rude. You're, you're Is he confirming that he loves Derek? Stage life for you. Okay. Thanks. I think the fans knew for a while that Trevor, like, is in love with Derek. And also, Derek does have a thing for Trevor, in a sense. But, like, hearing it confirmed, or potentially confirmed, from, like, what Trevor just did there. It, yeah, it just... Ooh, spicy! Okay, I won't pause too much. I'll try not to. I just have a lot to say, and I know you guys probably want to hear it, too. That's why I clicked onto this video. Or else you would have just watched the episode. Have you seen Yul? He went for a walk. A walk or a hobble? Oh my god, yes. If you mention his food one more time. Yeah, what a baby. Well, I'll go find him because <laughs> someone has to be a team player. So, how are you feeling, Rhea? You know, about last night's elimination. I'm peachy, what's there to say? Connor was dragging me down like he always does. At least now, he can ruin my game like last time. Yeah, I know he was loyal to you, but he would have never worked with the villains. Still, I kinda miss him. What's the point in crying over the past? Alec and Connor. Do I really have to do this? Do you want your fans back or not? My real fans will know that this isn't natural. I would never gush over that 2 out of 10. Yule, is that you, love? Oh, hi, babe. Oh. I was just picking some flowers. Oh, is it for you? Yeah, I picked them for you. For me? Oh, oh it's so darling. cute. You're the Even best. though it's fake as fuck. You know me. I always want to see you happy. These are beautiful. I, feel I bad. wish I could show our fans on Instagram. Our fans? I mean, yeah. Even though most of those followers came from me. Yeah, our fans. Wow. That's some dumb fucking shit to say. And Gret just. Okay. People are so superficial. They care about things like personality. Yet my influencer status means nothing. Absolute poppycock. So I made a promise to not care what random nobodies think. Did you that say that you were faking said, it though? It's really like, nice kinda? to have someone that respects like, that. I, I do believe I that you changed, but you also kind of lied about it, and everyone knows about it. That's it. Grab Is this been loud enough? I don't even know if any heard what I said. <laughs> hey, Tom. Damn it, Jake! That was supposed to be lunch. I'm sorry. What's wrong? I just thought we could finally talk. Oh, oh uh, you mean like right now? Uh, I've got a party of five expecting a rotisserie squirrel in half an hour. Uh, why don't we schedule party a party of school? five? You always wanted me to talk to you before I jump to conclusions, right? Well, here I am, talking to you. Take me seriously, please. 
Oh, uh, sorry. What is it? Do you like Aiden? Huh? Where, where did this come from? You kissed? Oh, that? Jake, I thought you know better than- Then why do you keep avoiding me? Why did you keep ghosting me all these years? All I wanted was for you to answer one lousy phone call. After all we've been through, all I'm worth to you is a dial tone. Tom, I know it's been years, but I've still got these feelings. I never stopped liking you, and if you're open, I was wondering... Uh, I have a boyfriend. What? Yeah, I've been dating him for months. I hope you understand why I'm not saying much else. I, I just don't want to ruin a good thing. Wow, well... WHAT?! I wish you could have no, told please me tell me that he's lying. He wasn't ready to be all public about it. I, I appreciate your honesty. I hope you're happy with this guy, because you deserve the best. Wow, uh, thanks, Jake. That, that really means a lot. Now, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I gotta be Elmer Fudd right now, and my uh, traps are hungry. <laughs> he said Elmer we'll talk Fudd. about it soon. Uh, but I, I have to go. So Tom's dating someone. That's great. I'm glad he was able to find happiness. I wish nothing but the best. And okay, our boy Tom and Jake might fall off, but might not. I, I might be getting too ahead of myself. Because maybe in like a confession, I'll be like, yeah, I lied. I wasn't ready to talk to Jake yet. Hold on. We'll see. So, who am I kidding? I'm not over him. I need to tell Ashley. She's a loyal friend. Fiore, where's she Ashley? She went fishing with Allie. Oh, have they been gone long? Couple hours. Seems Ashley has a new friend. You're not getting jealous again, are you? Oh, shut up. She's just trying to help Allie feel better. Sure, princess. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Keep throwing shit on the wall. Maybe something will actually stick one day. Uh. <laughs> Why don't you do the announcement, Eric? <gasps> Wait, really? Sure. First, you let me skip out on testing today's challenge, and now I get to do announcements again? You're spoiling me, girl. I see your potential, Derek. After watching your season, I can tell you have the chops to be a host by yourself. You carry Trevor in those episodes. Wow, no one's ever told me that before. Thank you, Crystal. Wait, so is Crystal manipulating Derek? Us at the challenge area on the top of the hill. Pronto, baby. Pronto, baby. Welcome, Team Magenta Cyan. Getting your first look at the new yellow team. Ah! Connor voted out at the last elimination. Huh. No surprise there. Miriam's letter was right. Letter? What letter? Today's challenge will test oh. how well oh, you handle shit. the Oh, letter. What letter? Excuse me? For the first part, each team must look <laughs> for four the letter. <laughs> balls in their team. Oh, wait, I, for, I, 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 I kind of forgot about the letter. Forest. I forgot that Alec never knew about the letter. Must roll them up to the top of the hill. Extremely happy to doing these challenges to like he loves it now because he's not doing it with Derek. He wanted he was in this probably just to get out of jail, yeah. But also to be with Derek, like hello. We'll be able to save her strength for the second. What if they make Trevor a contestant? This challenge is just out of nowhere. Fucking amazing. Ashley, want to be my player too? Darn you in. Hey, can I join? Not today, I'm afraid. I'm putting you on demon child duty. We can cover more ground if we split in pairs. Uh, okay. We should Damn. all split up. But if any of you have trouble carrying a ball, holler, then I'll be on the case. Bullseye! Nice. Ah, here we go! Aren't these dang balls supposed to be big as a bull? Where could they be hiding? Wish we could fast travel in real life. Fast travel? When you teleport locations in RPGs, that's what it's called. Huh. Well, I'll be. You'll be what? <laughs> you seem a lot happier today. Well, a certain cowgirl gave me some good advice. Hey, guys. Howdy. Tess. Ellie and Ashley! Sure. How's the search? Nothing yet. I'll skedaddle for a bit. You two enjoy your reunion, okay? Is everything alright, Ellie? I mean, after Hunter's elimination? 
Yeah, Ashley's been a big help, and getting to sing that song on stage was so liberating. Ali X Ashley. Sometimes it's better to I just know, talk it out. Too loud. I can't. Not now. This competition is more important. Okay, as long as you're okay, you know you can always talk to me, Ali. You were there for me last season when I felt my life was falling apart. I'd love to return the favor. Of course, Tess. You'll always be my best friend. Aw, aren't you two the cutest? Sorry, hope I'm not interrupting. No, I was just leaving. Best of luck to you both. Oh, what a shock! I love how that was used, not in a tone of like, oh yeah, like I'm just gonna go. It was used as a tone of like, oh, like, no, like we just finished talking. I gotta get back to my team. Best of luck to both of you, though. And we'll see what happens. Because I, I hate using that like, oh yeah, no, I was just about to leave as like a way of being like, like sad or insincere or like kind of like, oh my God, like something just happened. I can't do this right now. I like that it's being used as a positive this time. It's the small things that matter. Small! I have a lot to say. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I was right again. Ashley has replaced you. Ooh. You're getting cast aside, Jake. Stop trying to make me paranoid. All I'm saying is, if you want to join me in picking out Ali's time we lose... You could have Ashley all back to yourself. Do you really think she's abandoning me? It's like what you did with James. That's to get rid of the problem before it gets you first. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jay, Stop. come on. Don't tell me you're actually going to think of this, push. right? It's come on now. No, but it's for the Cyan team. Damn it! Did you hear what Ashley said earlier? What did she mean by Miriam's letter? Fiora did say we were <gasps> supposed Gabby's to... Gabby's about to find out! Miriam. It was sent out to them after she was voted out. What? Why wasn't I informed of this? And who sent out the letter? It had to be one of the yellow members. Jule and Gret don't have a reason to expose us since it hurts them too. It has to have been Connor, right? Would he really do that? To pull as far as one of us. He didn't like but write it. Miriam did, but he sent it up. Now I feel like a fool. I can't believe we almost saved him last elimination. The guy was actively going around ruining our game. Who cares? It's not a problem. Fiore and Ellie are the ones in danger. <sighs> so the villain alliance is real? Why didn't Ellie tell me she was a part of this? Does she not trust me? Hey, Tom, I found a cyan ball. Can you help me carry it you mean up? Gabby found it? <laughs> Where was Gabby? Hey, you were looking a little tense today, Tom. Did something happen this morning? I didn't want to ask you in front of the others. Jake confronted me. He came to our camp? Yeah. What did he want? He thinks there's something going on. He thinks, what? <laughs> like, you and me? Oh, God, seriously? Yeah, so I told him we're just friends, and that I'm dating someone. Oh, are you? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, Tom, that's so exciting! <laughs> What's the lucky boy's name? Sorry, I'd rather not dive into my private life. You know, especially since we're, uh, on TV. Oh, right, uh, keep forgetting that. <laughs> well, you did the right thing so adorable. to Jake and squashing the rumors. Jake can be sensitive. But he can also be really sweet. I just hope he's taking it okay. Jake is starting to really piss me off. First, the constant glares, and now he thinks me and Tom are a thing? What is wrong with him? I'm starting to think he may have had a hand in sending James home. He, he did! <laughs> he, was, he was the main fact. Oh, well, wait. I, <laughs> Fiora just fucking fought. Sorry. Ooh. Wait, how many do they need to find? Also, what was the free pass? Oh. Well, free pass allowed that allowed one of productions out. Okay, gotcha. Ready to go. 
on to the second part of the challenge. Each team will choose one member as the attacker. They'll be at the top of the hill. The other members will be defenders and be at the bottom of the hill guarding a goal. The attacker's job is to throw oh, come on, Trevor. towards the opposing team's goals while the defender's jobs are to stop them. Each time a ball lands in your goal, your team gets a point. Wait, the team that gets scored on gets a point? Yep, by the end of the challenge, the team that has the least amount of points will win reward the team and that gets immunity. On gets a point? Team with the most points. I hope you seeing your butts at elimination where someone will be the sixth person voted. Oh, so most points lose. Stars. Huh. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Science team, since you guys have one extra member, you will have two attackers. I'll give you all a moment to strategize and we'll get it on. You think that Start she would have had rather than like you're enjoying sit out, but no! Video. We would really appreciate your Go to their Patreon, guys. Video, I'm about, like, comment, probably this summer. I'm gonna, the if you haven't already. I'm gonna you subscribe to them for like a month so I can, where you can have see the, the videos up and ready before, uh, before this is the best before way we go because there's something more I wanted episodes to do. Quickly. Um, and now, in back July. to this venture camp on Odd Nation Cartoons. Why not Gabby and Ellie? All right. This would have allowed Community Ellie and Gabby and to talk Lord. about the situation. This challenge just starts now. Eat this. Actually, strong. Ah, it worked. <laughs> hey, Yul, you get to play Human Shield for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rhea using Yule as a Human Shield. <laughs> I ugly laugh, but that might stay in the edit, so... Oh, all right, let's keep going. Are you fucking kidding me? No! <laughs> we all want to see it. Ooh, good. Ooh, not looking good. Fiore. Why are we putting Fiore there? Let's be real. Gabby, I Hang on. What's going on? You seem down. Miriam's letter was all true. What? I overheard Rhea and Alec talking about it. At least part of the villain's alliance. Wow, I mean... Allie's been pretty devious recently. I'd say the Alliance name suits her. But what hurt is? Ellie lied to us about it. She lied to me, her own girlfriend. We should talk to Ellie. Maybe she can explain herself. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. She gets competitive. I'm nervous. Of course. How about I talk to her first? For now, we need your firecracker energy to win this challenge. Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? We can use this log to deflect the balls. Give Yule's face a break from blocking our goal. Wow, thanks, douchebag. A ball's getting our way. Let's taste it. Eureka! Oh no, it might come down to Magenta Team and us. Yellow's doing too good. Should we also try the log strategy? Ellie, neither of us can carry a log alone. And Tom's our best defense, so we can't have him leave. Heads up! Let's go. Both Magenta and Cyan have Go, one go, point. go! Yellow is in the lead with zero. Ah. Only two balls left to throw. Ooh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got three. Okay, let's see what we got. You got this, Aiden. Why are you guys only letting him do it? Oh. Oh, yeah. Phew. It's up to you, Jake. Don't make us lose, Twinkie Boy. Oh, what the? Tom, what are you 
doing? Oh my god, get a room, you two. In the middle of the challenge? Really, Tom? Huh? Tom? You said... Oof! That's yes. fucked, Ellie. That was a dirty trick, Ellie. Hey, it made us win, didn't it? And with that, the final score is D1-0. Yeah. Yeah. Magenta has a team with the most points. You lose. <sighs> What was that, Jake? I told you the ball was coming. Uh, maybe you didn't see me get crushed by the ball. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Jake! You alright? I was worried. You know, as much as Jake's a pain, I gotta admit, he's not the worst person to have in the game. He's predictable and easy to manipulate. You need people like that to stick around. Yellow team? Congrats on winning the challenge. Yeah. Your reward is a pizza party with oh! back at camp. There is enough to feed you for three days. Or 20 minutes, saying you lot. <laughs> Thank God, I've been starving for days. Team Magenta, what can I say? What was that? Good thing you're not typical soccer team. I'll see you tonight at the elimination. My one hope tonight is that I planted enough seeds of distrust so Jake votes for Ali. He can't be that stupid. He knows the danger of keeping her. I'm so nervous about tonight. I know I'm on the chopping block. I hope Ashley really considers keeping me. Damn. You don't need to feel bad about the challenge. We all make mistakes. Did you see Aiden and Tom? What? Good lord, Jake. Are you still distracted by them? I talked to Tom this morning. Oh, really? Ooh, and how'd it go? It went as good as it could go. Uh, never mind. Sorry, that's not important right now. We need to discuss tonight's vote. Can we get rid of Allie? Oh, Jake, come on! I was so excited about this finally being the chance to exact revenge on that little twerp. Can I be honest with you, Ash? Of course. I feel like you've been ignoring me and spending all your time with Allie. It makes me feel like... like you value her more than me. I'm worried you'll choose to work with her once Fiore's gone. Jake, bro, we've been allies and friends since day one. I can't believe you think that of me. I will never vote for you, understand? That's a promise. I guess if it makes you feel better, I can consider voting Allie tonight. Thanks, Ashley. Sorry, this Tom situation is just stressing me out. Forgive me, I'm being dramatic. Hey, at this point, I'd be worried if you weren't a little dramatic. <laughs> now, what happened with you and Tom if you don't mind me asking? Let's save that for tomorrow. I'd rather focus on the vote tonight. Fair enough, partner. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Wait, okay. Oh, this is good. Where it's gonna go. Oh, four of them. Man, I'm getting tired of seeing y'all's faces here. At least it'll be one less next time. Get voting. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out. I have to, I have to stay shut because I already know what happens. First to vote, Ali. <sighs> Fiore. It's one vote, Ali. One vote, Fiore. Fiore. Woo! Six person voted from the Spencer camp. Fiore! 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 I've been waiting for this for oh, a yes! time. Karma's a bitch, isn't it, Fiore? Congrats, Ashley. You really have gullible ass Jake wrapped around your finger. What a poor fool. Jake's just too stupid to see he's already lost. Keep it up, you little brat. It's about time someone humbled you. And Jake? I hope Scarface and Skunk Hair do a little more than kissing next time. Sad I won't be there to see Come your face? Oh, wow. Can someone please shut her up? Fiore, 
It's time for you to go. Fury getting voted off! Wow! What's crackalackin', kiddo? Shut up, Boomer! Damn. Fury <laughs> gone! Oh, Ashley, when Connor leaves now? Why not? End. Earlier. I just can't help but wonder if she voted Fiore as revenge or to save Allie. We did it! Fiore is finally gone! Yeah! -ha! We used her and kicked her off when we no longer needed her. Things couldn't have worked out better. Well, well, Nick, we better meet up for drinks after this. First round's on me! Wow, she's inviting Nick. Person she said she didn't really care for. Damn! Okay, so of course, we already know what time it is. Let's get to our good old friends at the drawing table. Let's go. So, yeah, I already knew Fiore was going home, right? That's the thing I already knew, so she's gone. But wow, all the juicy bits. Tess and Gabby are probably gonna confront Ellie together. Jake is actually even more unsure now between uh, with his relationship with Ashley and if Allie's actually getting in the way. And Tom and Jake still have a lot to recover as well as Yul and Gret still have a lot to do. Oh boy, this is tense, right? Cause we're all only on episode seven and I think now we're gonna start noticing that things are gonna get real. We have, see, Boom. We have 12 players left. 12. 12. We saw the eliminations of James, Lake, Miriam, Hunter, Connor, and Fiore. Oh, also, finally, another season one contestant is gone. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So, season two, you're safe for another fucking day. Right? We still have Ali. We still have Tess. Aiden, Yule, and Rhea. That's five. We only have five. Five contestants left. That's as many photos as you can put on the community tabs uh, on YouTube at once. So there's only five left. So I think what we're going to do now, or what uh, they might start doing in this venture camp, is they're going to start trimming down the fat of season one. So all I'm going to say here is either Ellie or Gabby is probably doomed in the next episode because we're probably going to see cyan lose that's what all i'm going to say right and because i got rid of tiktok i will no longer be seeing spoilers as long as they don't appear on the comment sections and whatnot so yeah until uh, next time though peace out